फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज विजय कुमार एंड वी आर स्टडीइंग रेफ्रिजरेशन एंड वॉटर इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई कवर्ड सो मेनी प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ साइक्लोमेट्रिक नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर एंजाइमी ऑफ नॉइस केयर एंड ह्यूमिड स्पेसिफिक थिंग
pass into a specific heat into change in temperature. Here, this is the specific enthalpy, so mass will not be there. So, that specific enthalpy will be C into delta T. If I write C specific and specific heat of dry air into change in temperature. Okay, right? So dry air C P A into what is the change in temperature? C here. Dry air, for dry air, this is the temperature, dry air temperature, temperature P. And initial condition I have taken 0 degrees Celsius. I have assumed if it is something P2 and this is P1, then it will be P2 minus P1. You have to remember. But here I will write P minus 0. That means HA will be CPA into P. You know the specific heat for air. CPA, if I write 1.005 into P. This is the specific enthalpy for dry air. This is the specific enthalpy for dry air. Now let's see the specific enthalpy for water vapor. Now let's see the specific enthalpy for water vapor. Specific enthalpy for water vapor. See here. At this point, air is in unsaturated condition. Dry air for for a specific enthalpy of dry air I have written here. For water vapor, at this point, what is the enthalpy? See here. This is the latent heat. Plus this one is the superheat. Up to this point, this is superheat. And this is latent. So water vapor will cover both the parts. So a specific enthalpy for water vapor will be equal to latent heat plus superheat. Superheat will be Cp B into change in temperature. P at this point it is P degree Celsius R theta minus. And at initial point is 0 for superheating. Cpv into T minus 0. Now Hv is equal to what is latent heat? Latent heat is 2500 for water vapor plus Cpv into T. Okay. Now I can write Hv is equal to. 2500 plus CPV specific heat for water vapor that will be 1.88 into P. This is the specific enthalpy for water vapor. This is the specific enthalpy for water vapor. Now, what will be the specific enthalpy total? That is that was the H is equal to H A plus omega H B. Simply put all values, H will be equal to one point if I not in terms of this, we will put C P A into T plus omega multiplied by two five zero zero. This will be written G plus this is C P B. Into this is the specific enthalpy for moisture. You can write in terms of this also CPA into 1.1.00, 1 1.005 into T. Here I write multiply, so you will get confused. 1.005 into T. Plus, this is this part, omega into Hv, 2500 plus Cpv into T. You can also put here 1.00. So, this is 
सो फ्रेंड दिस इज दी टोटल स्पेसिफिक एंजाइम और स्पेसिफिक एंजाइम की ओर मोल्स के ओके नाउ लेट्स सी द नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी ह्यूमन स्पेसिफिक ग्रुप लेट्स सी द प्रॉपर्टी ह्यूमन स्पेसिफिक ग्रुप recently i told that the total enthalpy of moles pair is equal to cpa into t plus omega into latency 2500 plus cpv into t i told this this is the enthalpy for moles pair so i can write this equation like this Plus omega into two five zero zero plus omega into C P V into I'll take both these terms and so I'll take common E C P A plus omega into C P and into plus this is omega into two five zero zero. So friends, this one is the this term. Sorry, not this. Up to this. CPA plus omega CPV is the human specific. Okay, so I can write this. Equation in terms of value, CPA is one point zero zero five plus. If I can write CP is equal to now CP total CP one point zero zero five into omega into one point eight eight. This is the CP. That means human specific. If I write here, it is CP. That means combined. That is combined means I am combining dry air part and water vapor part. Like you have told me, I have told. This is the humid space. Now, friend, let's see one more concept regarding the psychometric term. Let's see that concept. Let's see. Suppose this is the if I write that concept or more that you have to remember. Suppose this is the T S curve. And air is at this point. At this point, air is in unsaturated condition. If I write here, unsaturated. In the same way, if I draw now, air is now at this point. At this point, air is in saturated air. Saturated air. Now, at this point, what is the drive of temperature? D B What is the different temperature at constant pressure? This will be the dew point pressure. And what is the verbal temperature? If you draw, what is the verbal temperature? This one will be the verbal temperature. This is the That bulk in this case, what is the wet bulk depression? Wet bulk depression. Wet bulk depression is a difference between dry bulk temperature minus wet bulk. So in this case, there is some difference. You see here, there is some difference. In dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature, so the wet bulb depression is dry bulb temperature minus wet bulb temperature. 
This is the condition for unsaturated air. For saturated air, what is the condition? For saturated air, at this point, dry bulb temperature is there. Now air is saturated at this point, dew, dew point temperature is equal to dry bulb temperature. And wet bulb temperature is also equal to dew dry bulb temperature. So in this case, what is the wet bulb depression? Wet bulb depression. That will be zero. So when that this thing you have to remember in your concept and your, your MCQs, multiple choice questions, this type of concepts are asked. So friends, in my in my last two videos and in this videos, I have covered psychometric properties. The sequence I followed for psychometric term or psychometric properties that is not, this sequence is not in books. The sequence I followed is based on the, that uh, suppose where I have to read the driver temperature. First I have to start with the driver temperature. The sequence is unique and you can easily remember by that sequence on the property. So when in the next video we will see the psychometric chart. Based on these properties, psychometric charts are prepared. Okay. So thanks for watching this video and have a good day.